Hello everybody. MPS 3.3 comes with a uh, support for universal commenting out. So in any language without any support from the side of the language definition, nodes can be commented out. As an example, we can look at the robot Karel sample. We see a script here and we can put our cursor on any node in the model and hit control or command slash and the node is commented out. It's styled in grey color and it's uh, surrounded with these symbols. And then control slash or command slash again will uncomment the node. So this is a generic support, so no longer need the uh, language designers add explicit support for commenting out into their languages. This works for all languages. So I said any node can be commented out. Well, root nodes cannot actually be commented out, but except for those, all the nodes, wherever they sit in the model, can be commented out. So, for example, inside this condition, we've got if not wall ahead. So the structure of this is, so this is an if command, which has a condition uh, which consists of not, and then not has this, this wall ahead child. And we can comment out this wall ahead. And now instantly, since not expression requires a child in the role of the you know condition the expression so an empty cell was created in which we should provide well a, a replacement so let's say mark so the original condition is commented out it's displayed next to its original position and now we can specify a new value for the condition and if we could if we want to comment out this one as well now the process repeats now let's visualize this a little bit more. So we'll open the node explorer. So we see here is an if, if statement. It has a condition which is a not uh, expression. It has a child original which is full. That's the, the, the one, the condition that is active. And then there are two attributes. So two sort of annotations there. Uh, of type base comment attribute and they represent the two commented out values. So we can look at the first one. So it's a base comment attribute. It holds the wall ahead, the original value, the wall ahead condition. And um, it also stores the information about, you know, in which role it was put before. So basically, this tells us that inside not there's a value of wall ahead that's been commented out and it used to be in the original child relationship so in this one so the model contains the information about the, the commented out value and where it was before uncommenting a value will uncomment it, it but since uh, the cardinality of this child containment link is just one it will automatically comment out the current value. To take this a bit further, you could also imagine commenting out just parts of uh, mathematical expressions, like taking this fraction and commenting it out, and replacing it with a value 1 is perfectly valid. Now visualizing this part of the model, so we've got the minus expression which has uh, a comment containing the original uh, fraction and it keeps it remembers that originally it was placed in the right expression so the minus expression now stores this comment and instead in the right expression we've got the value 1 in a similar way you can comment out cells in the editor definition language for example say like the false branch if you don't like that one you can comment it out and instead well you can add another one now if the cardinality of the of the commented out node is uh, allows zero then no new cell is created if you comment it out it's just commented out now I'd like to show you how you can customize the way commented out nodes look like on the screen. For example, if we comment out if, it looks in the default way it's surrounded with uh, well these symbols, just like all other nodes in 
in any language. Now, if you want to customize how a commented out if statement looks like, you go to the definition of if statement and create a new editor for it. So this is the default editor and we'll create a new editor concept editor and but only applicable to the comment hint for our if statement so now we could define whatever we want the co commented out if statement to look like um, in our case I'll just copy the original one pasted here and modify slightly. Now you see using editor components would probably be a would probably be a wise thing to do here. So we'll surround it with um, could be horizontal layout, and we'll add a new cell holding this double slash um, symbol. Also, we'll change styling here to be comment so that all this shows up in, in gray. And additionally, we have to, we have to remove the comment hint from the context so that the nested nodes here do not have their potential comment editor supplied. We only want you know, the if statement to look commented out. The rest, the body, and the condition of the if statement should, you know, all the editors there should be the, the, the usual, the normal editors. So let's rebuild. And now you see the if statement looks differently on the screen than, well, than the rest. Now one more customization option. What if, for example, you don't want to allow conditions of uh, while statements to be commented out? So you don't want to allow for this when you hit control command slash anywhere inside condition you just want the whole while statement to be commented out how to do that well the idea is to disable the comment action on these cells so you could either go to the editors of these expressions or we could go to the editor of while the default editor and on condition we can set a new action and we'll pick the comment action here. So now we define the reaction to the comment action on the while statement. Well, on the while statement's condition. Provided we specify the action map here. So now this condition has this action map and this action map can handle commenting out in any way you like. To disable it, you just return false from the can execute block. So this will indicate that comment is not applicable, this action is not applicable in this position. So automatically, the comment action will be applied to the surrounding node. So now position on, hi on not, hitting command slash will comment out the whole while statement. So this way we could customize behavior of commenting out in our language. So in 3.3 language designers do not have to spend any effort on commenting out functionality. It's supported by default but they can customize it so that it better matches the, the culture and tradition of the particular language and the taste of the language author. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.